There is a lot of empty space and fresh air once you get deep into Brantley County, Georgia, but some people say both of those things could be harder to find if one company gets its way. About eight miles or so east of the small town of Nahanta up US 82 and across the Satilla River, you'll hit Highway 110, the site of a proposed landfill. Now the neighbors are fighting that plan, which would put the landfill in between a pair of elementary schools. On your side's Ken Amaro went to find out more about the war on trash. Today it is barren land, but this community of Brantley County is concerned about what's being proposed for the acreage behind me. This company bought 20, right at 2,400 acres. Brantley County Development Partners, LLC, wants to build a landfill in this location. The people that we have talked to absolutely do not want it. Longtime resident Betty Jean Smith is pushing back, and she is not alone. Thousands have already signed a petition opposing the project, and there is more. And we have multiple other petitions that are being submitted to the EPD this week. The community is concerned about the potential impact a landfill may have on the environment and the two adjacent elementary schools. The school board recently adopted a resolution opposing the plan. We have approximately 18,000 residents in the entire county and um, we, we don't own our own landfill, but we would not certainly need a 227 Land, acre landfill. The Georgia Environmental Protection Division told On Your Side this step, referred to as site suitability, is an interim step in the process of fully permitting the facility to be built and ultimately receive any waste. There are two opportunities for the local governments to verify that the proposed facility meets their local zoning and solid waste planning criteria. The community has until January 31st to express its comments, and members plan to give regulators an airfoil. Citizens here are scrambling to get comments emailed to the EPD to meet that deadline. In Brantley County, Canamero, First Coast News, on your side.